Greetings fellow strongholders. Today I am going to do a tutorial about how to best remove bandit camps uh, without having to scout them first. Basically what I'm going for here is the blind attack approach. So I'm not going to bother scouting the castle. I'm just going to put down a formation that I saved and you know, it should take care of the castle just fine. This applies to pretty much all bandit camps. This setup here should take care of all of them. Uh, all but one of them so far, I have successfully removed without any catapult loss. Now it seems there is one that has a tower right here on the edge of this side, and it kills off all the catapults on the right. So there are a total of seven catapults lost in that attack, but all the other attacks have been pretty much lossless in the catapult area. And I'm going to review a few that I did just uh, today after I just explain the layout. So basically what you have here are 50 pikemen. So 50 is uh, probably a, a bit of an overkill, but some of these castles are pretty big. They have a lot of peasants around them. So I'm reluctant to reduce it any more of that than, than 50. And also the more troops you have, the fewer that you get killed. I mean, we have sort of the divide and conquer method at work here. So what I've, what I've done with my 50 is uh, 50, 25 of them go on each side. Now rather than approaching attacking from one side, I attack from both. And this The reason for this is because some castles have a stronger defense on the right, some have a stronger defense on the left. So if one side has a really strong defense, the other side most likely won't and those will be the catapults and pikemen that can push right through to the keep as opposed to being stalled at a wall because that side happens to be better defended than most other castles. And the reason I don't do front or back is I've tried them and in general the front is better protected. I suppose I could do a two prong strategy from both sides but I prefer drawing the fire away from the keep. In other words, there are archers being around the keep and they both fire in different directions rather than being able to basically concentrate on one side of it. Again, there is a disadvantage in this way in that all the archers will be firing as opposed to just a few of them. But I really haven't had any failures with this attack so far and I'm quite content with it. Now, as far as the catapult targeting goes, you don't actually have to hit the keep. There are no castles that I've found. I have around 30 of them, I believe, different designs. There are none that i found that require you to aim any further in than this to remove walls. So basically that's what I have on both sides. Yeah, the catapults are targeted towards the keep, but they don't actually have to be on the keep. This will save a good amount of catapults on some of the harder bandit cast camp designs. So there, I sent the attack, and in the meantime, I'm going to review a few of the other attacks that I did. Now, this one is probably the mildest of the bunch I'm going to show you. As you can see, the walls on this side are stronger than the ones on this side, so it, that's why it's important to attack from both angles. Now, I could attack from the front, but then the peasants would have, I mean, my pikemen would have to deal with all these peasants, and in the back, I have, you have two walls to go through in most places, and it's hard to anticipate every single castle combination when setting these up since we are attacking blind, right? So there you have it. The pikemen are in the keep from the right side of the castle, whereas the left side, they, they still haven't breached the second wall. Okay, number two. Now this one is a very large one. I used to sustain quite a few catapults lost on this attack because I didn't I put my catapults too close, basically. They don't need to be as close, like I'm saying. This wall won't get hit very hard, but this one, I'm perfectly targeted on it, and it will be down in a short amount of time because the catapults are actually hitting it. I don't, I'm not going to require pikemen to actually take that wall down. But as you can see, none of my catapults are getting hit by the archer fire. So this castle is actually one of the easier ones now that I've backed the, or well, let's say one of the cheaper ones, now that I've backed the catapults off a bit more. So yeah, uh, all 14 of my 14 catapults and I lost 20 of my original 50 pikemen. The next attack, now this is the one with all the zombie peasants, basically just hordes and hordes of peasants, but only a wood defense. Now, normally you, you wouldn't want to use any catapults because there's really no need for them. And if you had scouted it, you would probably use archers to really clear up here for some good honor. But I'm doing a no scout attack, basically 
Remember, we want to have an attack that can work for just about any castle with minimal losses, so we, we don't have to scout any of them. But speaking of scouting castles, I generally use four scouts, no more. I've never found a castle that we at, or a bandit camp design that required more than four to scout. To successfully scout it. Anyway, as you can see, this is probably one of the best bandit camps for milking honor from because of all the peasants. I got 11,000 honor from it, but this is in age 5, and I've mentioned the age factor in other ones. Age 1 and 2 uh, do not get, yield as much honor as ages 3, 4, and 5. Age 6, we, there's nothing in the works yet, so I really can't comment on that, but most likely it will continue in the trend that we saw with ages 3, 4, and 5. So anyway, as you can see, I didn't lose any of my catapults, despite the fact that there are big towers of archers <clears throat> on all four corners of the bandit camp castle, but I did lose half my pikemen. The last attack that I was going to cover is this one. Now this is the one where I lost half of my catapults, and it's due to this tower right here with these archers on it. As you can see, the wall over here is <clears throat> relatively weak, so the pikemen will get through it fast, but they don't get through it fast enough to save any of these catapults. And I, I can't move those catapults back any further, otherwise there are castles that I won't be able to hit the wall for, and it's important that I can. So this is the only castle I've found, and I've, like I said, I've attacked over 30. This is the only one i found that I actually lose catapults in, so overall, your odds of hitting this one are pretty slim. And the funny thing is, I only lost 4 pikemen in this attack, whereas I lost half of my catapults. So it was expensive in that category, but... <clears throat> Overall, I think this is a very efficient attack. Okay, the report is in. Let's check it and see what our surprise castle holds for us. Uh, disappointingly, it was just a small one. But most of them will be small ones. When you send out these attacks, I, I tried to feature some of the b biggest ones. I believe I got the biggest the zombie peasant one and the one with all the archers scattered around the walls but yeah most castles will be smaller like this and as you can see you won't lose many peasants i mean i lost one pikeman so most castles are like this and you won't lose really any troops but those for those bigger ones that pop up on occasion the design of this attack is so that you will sustain very few losses to your own troops and you remove the castle as opposed to failing at it. So, you now remember this this attack setup is for removing castles blind attacking. If you're attacking for honor, there are better setups and I hope to cover them in another video soon. So, thank you for watching and I hope you found this informative. Stronghold Kingdoms. The battle has just begun.